Others who tried and failed in the den included Egyptian-born painter Ash Hussein, who's invented a multi-angled paintbrush handle. By attaching the brush to the extension bow, as you see, to reach to the high and difficult area without need for ladder or scaffolding. A simple idea and one which intrigued the dragons. What's your background? How come you ended up doing this? I was called working as a property developer and interior designer and I was painting. The ladder slipped and I fell off. I was diagnosed with broken neck, back, hips, as well as dislocated shoulders. I dedicated my life to preventing others suffering like me. A heartfelt story. But it wasn't long before the dragons got down to business. Now, if you bought a brush the same quality as this, same size as this, what would you pay for it? It depends on the bristle you... No, no, same bristle. The same as this, with the plastic handle, what would it cost? It depends on the quality of the brush. I'm asking you to compare a green apple with a green apple. Not an apple with a banana. Not an orange with a grape. This is confusing enough as it is. But <laughs> apples, grapes, bananas. What are you trying to do to him? In the end, the debonair decorator got no cash, but he did receive some advice from Peter Jones. Take this product to some of the companies out there and say to them, I want you to take this over and give me a percentage of the sales if you can sell this product into the market. OK. I'm out. Thank you. Next in the den was 25-year-old Daniel Martin from West London, who hoped his dot-com business could help people stuck in lengthy mobile phone contracts. Anybody with a mobile phone can become contract-free, regardless of their contract length, and without paying any termination fees whatsoever. This is perfect for people who have poor credit history. A complicated concept, but Theopophetus was able to sum it up neatly. All you're doing is putting two people together. That's all it is, and it's like a dating site. A dating site with a phone. Really, your market is students, isn't it? Yeah, that's the main market. struggle to get credit. When those students and those youngsters start to default on payments, yeah. what then happens? The network themselves will be chasing them up for their payments and things, and that will affect their credit check. What you're doing is making that credit default far easier. Slightly, slightly easier, yeah. In the end, it was left to the den's telecoms expert to deliver a business lesson. The networks will not allow it. Why? They've already signed you up. They've got you there. You're a copy-paying customer. Yeah. They won't take the risk with transferring that to somebody else. So you acting as a middleman are providing absolutely nothing. I'm amazed how well you can present an absolutely ridiculous idea. I'm out.